Hello and welcome to Skill of the Week for straw blowing in the watercolor. So we're doing a form of Japanese straw blowing for our second grade watercolor class and I want to show you the materials that we're going to be using. We've already gotten our wet into wet wash done and we're going to just use a basic little uh, tray from a Prang watercolor set and it's just black. We have our watercolor brush and a tub of water and a straw that's just cut in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to put water and I'm going to do this not with my painting in front of it. We're going to put water in the little tray. Okay, because we want to create a little puddle in there. We want to get plenty of watercolor going. Okay, so you can see there's a little puddle in there. Okay, I'm just stirring it around, make sure it gets mixed up with the black paint. Okay, so then I'm going to make sure that my painting is set in a horizontal position, but when I blow with my straw, I'm going to blow from one or the other end. Okay, so not top or bottom, but end to end. We're going to act like a branch is flowing across the page. Okay, so I'm going to put my drop of of paint right here. I'm going to load the brush up with watercolor and I want to have a nice bubble of paint sitting up on top of the paper there. Okay, so that I can blow on it. Okay, I'm going to put that off to the side so I don't get into it and then right away I'm going to start blowing. Now you don't want to spit through your straw so you need to keep your mouth fairly dry. Now watch how I blow. Okay, if you need to, you can turn it around to make those branches go in different directions. Okay, so I've pretty much blown all the paint that I already have on there so that I have this really delicate branch that's branching out across. And you can see you can blow it in different directions <clears throat> so that it looks like a, a new little bud of branch has moved up and spread out and curled around and that kind of thing. You don't want to have your paint splay out in all different directions. So if you noticed, I did not blow from the very top with my straw pointing straight down. I had to get down to the side of it. So my straw was always at a deep angle, pointing and following the paint as it went along. That's how you keep your, your branch moving along. Okay, and we want just a little delicate branch. That's all we want. We don't want big fat branches going all in all different directions. But if you're feeling like, well, that's just not very much, you can get a little bit more paint in another area, like right there, and you can blow it in another direction. Okay, I need to move my painting around. Okay, so that I have a little bit, a few more branches coming out in another direction. But I don't want to get too much going on because I want it to be a really delicate branch, like we had looked at with our second graders' uh, watercolor that we saw this really delicate branch coming across and then little flowers on the ends of the branches. But you don't want to do your flowers on the end of your branches until this is completely dry. So otherwise that will seep in and then your flowers will turn black. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, one thing you need to make sure of when you are blowing is you are taking quick little breaths like this. If, and just a quick intake of breath. And the reason why is so that you keep your mouth fairly dry. If you keep it too wet, 
then you're going to have spit running through your tube and then that's going to mix with your watercolor and you're going to have a drippy watercolor and it's not going to look like a nice clean branch. So that is it for straw blowing. Thank you.